boom. And just like that, we are on fast forward. There are huge transformational shifts coming in for your soul. Ladies and gents, good afternoon and welcome back to another New Moon video. My name is Lucy Davis and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On Tuesday the 25th of October, there is a very powerful solar eclipse that is taking place. These powerful eclipse energies are going to be really driving us forward at a rate of knots. Now, before we go on any further, we have only got a couple of weeks until our Soul School special price is going to be increased. So if you have not watched the launch video for Soul School, um, the semester that has already started running and it runs until the 4th of February, then please do go to the description field, click on the link and go to the Soul School page whereby you can look at the promotional video. You can also um, take a look at the launch video. Video, which is a very, very, very powerful video. And also you can get signed up to join the first semester in the group with a very, very, very powerful bunch of people um, that are going to be at the event on the 4th and 5th of February 2023. <sighs> My goodness, this new moon is promising to be an absolute powerhouse. Boom! And just like that, we are on fast forward. If you didn't think we had been far, going fast enough already, this is huge transformational energy that is coming in. This is transformational energy that is going to hit every area of your life. So if you are somebody that has maybe been having a little bit of peace and quiet for a while, or maybe you feel like you've got your stuff together, trust me, this moon for about five days before and about two weeks after, we are going to be shaken up. So I did warn you in the October energy update how transformational this period of time was going to be. It is literally shaking us to the core right now. We are having so much healing taking place as we navigate those periods of time. We have got the UK government collapsing again here um, where I am in England. We've got lots of other noise that's taking place around the world. Exactly as we were expected, everything is being shaken up. Please do remember that it is time to tidy our house once and for all. So if you are finding yourself stepping into a space of victim or stepping into a space of why is this happening to me? When is this going to stop? When are we going to move forward? Be very careful what you wish for. It's time to tidy our house once and for all so that we can progress and move forwards. Everything needs to come to the surface. Now, for a very long time, I've been saying to you, you are in the hall of mirrors. Everything is coming up. And I've had a number of messages from you absolute gorgeous um, beings out there saying, oh, my God, you warned me about this. And it is absolutely happening right now. Please don't think just because you're on your path on your spiritual journey or maybe you perceive yourself to have your stuff together. We are we're um, collapsing all of those attachments right now. So for any of us that think that we've got it together, trust me you're going to be tested so what I'm doing right now is I'm saying I'm open to the healing journey I'm open to it you know because I don't ever perceive myself to have my stuff together um someone very recently asked me if I believed I was a guru I don't believe anybody's a guru I don't resonate with those words I believe that we're all on our paths some are at different stages but that doesn't mean that they're better okay it just means that we're all going through our um revelations in our own period of time and this is this is where we surrender those attachments this is where we really do step into a beautiful beautiful space of just being anything that we are trying to control anything that we believe is going to happen trust me it won't be happening trust me it's not going to come to you in the way that you would like expect more hidden secrets to appear between now and the end of the year, the end of 2022, stepping into 2023. There are so many secrets that are about to appear globally, not just here in the UK, although it seems to be that the UK is going forwards first. We are doing a lot of collapsing and clearing from the past. 
anything that has not ever worked for you or worked for the greatest good of mankind, all of that is coming to the surface. It is being um, collapsed. We are having to recognize it. We're having to realize um, the journey that we've been in. There are huge transformational shifts coming in for your soul. This is what we are doing right now. We are stepping through this period of time whereby we're collapsing all of the stickiness and the, you know, the age stuff, the ancestral stuff, and we are activating the soul, which is why soul school is so powerful right now, which is why every single person on the planet needs to get themselves to soul school, because this is going to help us align and just connect in with our truth, with our purpose, with our passions, with what we actually got sent here to do. Expect surface level crisis and drama. Now, I keep being shown earthquakes and I keep being shown a lot of water. So Mama G is pissed right now. Sorry to swear. And I will hopefully put a little trigger warning at the beginning of this. But she is. She's fed up. So she is creating shifts. Um, from a planetary perspective to make things come to the surface but we are also going to see like I said the surface level crisis and drama we're going to be having distractions over here and um and a really good example of surface level is um Liz Truss in the UK stepping out of parliament after 44 days of being involved now I don't get involved in politics because it's not my bag um, but I do have a level of consciousness on it and this is the kind of um, crisis and drama that we need to do to shake people at the core. Those people that are so heavily involved in what the government are doing and what the, you know, the processes and the systems that are currently underpinning our world. We need to disrupt these things. We need to show people what, um, you know, what a crappy situation that we're in to wake up those ones that perhaps haven't been seeing it so far. Oh my God, I can't even say to you, this new moon is so freaking powerful. <laughs> it's so powerful. I'm so excited about it because I don't know about you, but you know, like I said, we're, we're, we're on go faster. Like I keep being shown, go faster, strike, go faster, go faster, go faster. Um, you know, and it's just really powerful, this, this situation that we're in right now. And, and I'm excited about it because I know that we are stepping forwards. We are birthing a different world right now. And for me, that's bloody exciting really 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 exciting so mama g like i was talking about a little while ago mother nature gaia whatever you would like to call her the planet earth consciousness is clearing out all of the old heaviness so it's you know we've been in the hole of mirrors for a very long period of time we've had to see elements of ourselves we've had people coming into our lives from the past to remind us of the healing we need to do we've had beautiful souls coming in innocently you know activating us reminding us triggering us of all the stuff that we need to step through a really good example for myself is that i am on a mission as you guys know to clear all of the um all of the um past traumas that i've needed to do to heal where intimate relationships are concerned and I've had exes coming into my path. I've had new people coming into my path, all to bring everything up to the surface. So please do be aware that this is a real thing that's taking place. We are going through a massive purging on the planet right now. Every single ounce of our old energies plus Gaia's old energies are coming to the surface. Now, this is a tricky time for those of you who transmute energies. OK, if you are somebody who transmutes energies on behalf of the collective, um, my guides are coming in. <laughs> I love it when they're doing it a lot at the moment when I'm speaking on videos. So um, if you are somebody who transmute energies, just be very aware of that at the moment, that we are in a period of time whereby we're transmuting whilst we're awake, whilst we're resting, um, you know, when we're walking on the beach, all sorts of different times. So please do hold the line and up your protection. If you know you have a child that is trans muting energies right now be careful be um considerate be compassionate towards them um i did a really sorry i did a really powerful video um with deb's a uh, little while ago i'll link back to it right now so that you guys can tap into that just remember to hold the line. Your children don't know what their role is. If you know, you don't need to tell them what their role is, but just honor them slightly more than you normally would. Give them extra compassion, get, like get them out into nature a lot more, talk to them more, connect with them, love on them more, listen to them more. That would be my recommendation for right now. 
We are stepping into a massive period of shift in regards to the global government. OK, the global government is going to start showing themselves. There's going to be different stages that are taking place um, whereby, you know, again, Liz Truss is a really good one. So she's one of the first shifts that's taken place in government. You know, we know that there's elections and stuff happening in um, America and other places around the world. Just keep your beady little eye. You don't need to get immersed in it. You don't need to get like, you know, fully, fully ingrained in it. But do recognize that these different shifts are taking place. The pieces of the puzzle are being moved right now and they're going to connect at some point. So it can stay in your high levels of consciousness and just observe go to the mountaintop look down be the eagle um i think that's what i normally talk about be have that eagle view like fly above and just witness but do not take it on okay it's very very important to observe and not consume right at this period of time now as if by magic as these global shifts um, within the government take place People are going to unify. They're going to unite and they're going to come together to collaborate. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. This unification um, is something that I've been seeing for a long time and it's time. The communities are coming together. You know, there are many amazing people out there that are creating things like health alliances, people alliances, food alliances. You know, the Soul School is another great example of an amazing community coming together. And we're only just getting started with it. Soul School is going to be something whereby we all come together like glue and we create our piece of the new earth. There is going to be a massive, massive shift um, stepping through this, starting through this new moon, like the energies are shifting, you can feel it. And this is the next wave of awakening. Come March next year, 2023, this is when the big boom is going to take place in regards to the next round of the spiritual awakening. Um, I was doing a video on Instagram just a few days ago, maybe towards the end of last week. And um, I was and I stumbled across something that said 17 and two, two, three or two. Yeah, something two, two, three, something like that. And when I sat and I well, I didn't really sit and ponder. I was talking on the video, but it showed me very clearly that the last real massive uh, round of awakening took place in 2017. Obviously, there's been interim since what with um, COVID and things like that. But the next round of like an injection of awakening will come in 2023. And I predict that will be around March time. So these energies within the new moon are asking us to recognize what's no longer serving us, how we need to step away from this in readiness for this next round of awakening, because even those people who think they're awake, trust me, there's whole new levels that you guys can go to. Ah, it's exciting. Money and finances are under the spotlight. Always have some cash on you would be my recommendation. Do be very, very aware. But like I say, have zero attachment to what is taking place at the moment. Everything is coming under the spotlight. It's going to have its day. And I feel although money and finances came up um, during this period, I do feel that come the next full moon, that's when the money and the finances are really going to be under that spotlight. This new moon is going to bring addictions to the surface. OK, what do we need to acknowledge as our crutch? I've had many people reaching out to me. Oh, um, you know, my old um, eating disorders have surfaced. My old, um, not necessarily that they've stepped into them. Um, my old drugs have started to surface again. And it's not that I've taken them, but they're starting to play with me. This is what's happening right now. We are being tested to the max to acknowledge that we were using it as a crutch. Does it serve you? Do you really need to go back there? What is draining your energies? Look at what is draining you and what is draining your beautiful, profound energy field. This is a very important period of time whereby we have to recognize that we have been feeding into the wrong things. And I'm not just talking the governments and the systems. I'm talking literally for self. Are you drinking um, alcohol when maybe you should you know you you feel better with a clean vessel but you're doing it because you don't want to miss out or you feel like you're missing out be very very aware of this right now have you found yourself stepping back to sugar can you catch yourself as you do it recognize it very 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 important focus on what is resonant for you right now 
what is resonant for you? What's resonant for your soul? Remember, there are transformational shifts coming in for your soul. You need to recognize what feels good for you and what doesn't feel so good. Step into a space during this new moon of shedding all of the busyness and the distractions from your life. So busy, so busy. Everybody I know right now is so busy, myself included. (laughs) You know, I'm closing out the book. I'm setting up Soul School. I'm still running all of my programs. I'm, you know, creating um, content and things like that right now. Like I am so busy and it needs to slow down. We need to shed this. How are we going to create new earth if we're going in there with a vibration of busyness? So I'm like clearing my way right now. I'm saying no to to people a lot more. I've got beautiful boundaries in place at the moment. People are reaching out. Oh my God, this time has passed and we haven't seen each other. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Like that time has passed now. Now I need to focus on what I need to do to get things across the line. Distractions are massive right at this precise moment. Really, really big. We are being challenged. We are having everything come to the surface for healing. Bearing in mind that we are looking to shed all of the busyness, up your self-love and particularly start on your self-mastery journey. When I talk about self-love, that means hang around people that make you feel good. You know, get to the ocean, get out in nature, go horse riding, like do whatever fires your soul up. Get back to, you know, your exercise regime or whatever it is. Get out in the sunshine, connect with Mama Mama G, Mother Nature, and start to really focus on self. Where are you having reactions? Where are you being triggered? Where are you not liking the the feeling that's coming back? Where are you feeling overwhelmed? Where do you need to put boundaries in place? This is self-mastery. Now, my self-mastery program is out there for you guys um, to uh, step into. I haven't done a launch for it this time around because, you know, it's just not necessary. Um, But the program is there. If you want to do an eight-week program to really get into alignment with your self-mastery, Um, and recognize your ego what it looks and it feels like recognize you know maybe how things are impacting your life that you thought perhaps you'd step around and you've navigated through with ease and grace and that is the program to do the way that it works is you have a coach for eight weeks and you basically go through video content and homework and then you do one hour a week for eight weeks with one of my beautiful beautiful team it won't be me because I'm traveling too much to be able to support anybody Um, however my coaches have been personally trained by myself and they can take you through that program do go to my website www.lucydavis.com for more information on that so dear to my heart this new moon is really surfacing relationships this could be friendships or intimate relationships it's really got to focus on love. And I'm so happy about this because this is the space I'm in at the moment. I'm working at relationships. I'm working on, you know, having the best friendships that I possibly can have that are two-way balanced friendships rather than one way. I'm working on creating a loving, intimate relationship with somebody. I'm, you know, allowing myself to be more committed than before. Um, I am focusing on love. I'm focusing on that vibration of love and how it's coming into me and, and the vibration that I'm putting out into the world I'm focusing on creating communities whereby love is the actual driving force that we are living in now I believe that this new moon is going to uh, make us all take a look at our relationships what you know how could you improve your relationship with your parents what are your relationship aspirations you know deep down do you want a relationship but you're scared so you are putting out the vibration that you don't want one but really you you're ready to step forwards and you're ready to commit and you're ready to be present with somebody and really really you know um, connect on a far deeper level than you've ever been able to connect to before It's all areas of consideration, all areas of consideration. Now, the other thing that this new moon is doing, it's bringing in a real um, new passion um, 
fired up inspiration. I think that's the way to put it. You know, there, this transformational energy is, is surfacing so much inspiration. So if you are finding that you are getting so inspired by being hanging around somebody, or maybe you've got a newfound passion um, that you just want to get involved in and you really do feel aligned to, and, you know, maybe it's travel, maybe it's exercise, maybe it's food maybe it's writing like I'm writing like a train at the moment I'm being I'm able to create such masterpieces like guys you wait till you see the book oh oh the book is just so beautifully powerful it is wonderful I am so excited and this is where my inspiration is lying right now and I'll be honest with you guys I am loving creating this book I am loving you know the finishing touches things that I've never considered that are going to make it so special um I am going to do a discussion with uh, Rick on book writing and storytelling and you know maybe we'll give you a little, little bit of insight into the book um and talk about maybe pre-orders and things like that but we'll do that soon um, because it's a very very it's been a very important part of my life through 2022 and I really do feel that if we can help other people inspire um sorry get inspired to write their own um, story and share their story then my goodness the world is going to change and this new earth library that um you know Rick and I are creating um will will happen with with a you know fast forward like they 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 keep telling us we're on fast forward so let's make it happen so ladies and gents oh my gosh there's so much information in there isn't there if you haven't got a piece of pe a piece of paper and a pen um please do pause the video here and i will see you back in a second to give you the exercise for this new moon on the 25th of october see you in a sec Ladies and gents, welcome back. So as always, the first step that we take when we are doing um, any of the exercises that I, that I give you guys is we clear our auric field. So here, what we want to do is we just want to release all of the stagnant energy that's stuck to us. This is very much about freedom. This is very much about us recognizing the things that have pulled us back. So as you're clearing your energy space, I release all that no longer serves me. I welcome the abundance, the freedom, the love and the light into my life. Step number two, head um, around your room with your cleansing tool of choice. Now, remember, you can use anything from salt, essential oils, Palo Santo, sage, you name it, you use whatever works for yourself. As you walk around your room, again, open the doors and windows and say, be gone. Anything that no longer serves me, please be gone. I, anything that doesn't resonate to my soul anymore. I am welcoming in the huge transformational shifts for my soul. Step number three, what I would like you to do is take a um, piece of paper and a pen. Okay, you might want to have some music playing, you might want to have some candles going or whatever. But what I would really like you to do is I would like you to take a piece of paper and write down everything that no longer serves you, everything that you need to release, everything that's been holding you back from getting your heart's desires, every behavior trait, every um, attachment that you've had. This is what this is about. Remember, we're releasing the attachments. So on this piece of paper, write down any attachment that you have. Now, this might be a big list for some of you. Um, for others of you, you might feel that it's a little bit of a lesser list. But it might be that, oh, my God, I need to release attachment to my mobile phone. I need to release attachment to, um, you know, my boyfriend coming home at a certain time, you know, when he goes out with his pals. It might, you know, these kind of things like look at where you have got unhealthy attachments, because this is the time for transformation. This is the time for you to acknowledge all that you have been doing to hold yourself back so that you can free yourself. You can free yourself. You can truly step into love once and for all. So that's step number three. Step number four, pop on some solfeggio frequency, some Milan, something like that. Pop yourself into a beautiful meditative state and just sit there and ponder what you have written about. By releasing these things, what can you bring in? What can you attract? What can you be grateful for? How can you shift? Now, I would sit in this meditation for about 12 minutes. I don't know why 12 has just been given to me. So about 12 minutes. And then once you have done that 12 minutes, pick up your paper. Is there anything else that you need to release? 
and then allow the flow with everything that you're looking to bring in. I'm going to bring in more love. I'm going to be grateful for. I'm going to have appreciation for. I need to message, like, like set the imprint of how this love and this friendship and this intimate relationships are just going to cut, bubble to the surface. Once you have finished doing that, what I would do is go make yourself a beautiful, beautiful cup of herbal tea and set all of those good intentions into your herbal tea. So the love, the gratitude, the appreciation, the people you're going to reach out to, all of those beautiful things. Um, and then that is the end of the exercise for this time, ladies and gents. New moon blessings to each and every one of you. I'm so excited for this. We are, on, like I say, we're going so fast right now. Everything is coming to the surface. Everything needs to be shipped. So let's help ourselves do this even more quickly. Uh, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love.